Hey guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my November classroom. This video is super late. I know we are like almost through this whole month. This whole month has just seemed to slip by so quickly and so I was just looking at the calendar today and I was thinking, oh my goodness, I really need to get my November classroom video up for you guys. So. Um, this is the end of my daycare day, so my last kid just got picked up, and I've just kind of quickly ran through and picked up the classroom, and so I'm just gonna do just a real quick video, just show you what our classroom looks like this month. Um, our theme this month is let's make some noise. Some of my students have just absolutely loved this theme, and other ones could just keep it or leave it, but it has been really cool to see some of my students that have like some musical talent, even at the age of one. Um, they're just fascinated by um, the activities we're doing this month so stick around and I'll show you guys my classroom so I usually start my videos kind of at the beginning of my classroom so this is where the parents pick up their kids stuff at the end of the day all their coats and bags are on the hooks and then their day sheets and papers or anything that's going home I clip up on the clipboards and then here is our board for this week so you can see our we have our November songs and then the lesson plans that we're doing for this week. So our weekly theme is boom, but then the unit is let's make some noise. And then here I just have our fall sensory bottles and then our uh, monthly sensory bin uh, is right here. And then I just like to keep the binder of all my November lesson plans and curriculum just uh, really easily accessible so I can grab it during the day. And then here I just keep all of our table toys. One of my little ones ripped down the bookshelf that actually goes right here. And so usually I like to have all the board books that the kids can get to um, on this shelf. So my husband's gonna have to fix that. Uh, so I kind of have some of the books up here. Well, paper books are always up here because it's out of the kids reach. Um, but I have a couple of the board books that I've just kind of put up here and then I have um, a stack of them over just on our toy shelf over there until I can get that shelf put back up. So here's the swing. The swing has been a little bit of a problem this week. The kids are fighting over it and I honestly don't even have any little little ones that even need to be in the swing so this might be being put away over the weekend as well. Um, they love to push these little buttons um, because this this swing this particular four mom swing which is amazing for little kids um, but it plays all different kinds of music and has all different kinds of settings and they love to um, push the buttons and then jump in there and uh, go for like a little ride and it's driving me crazy so that swing is probably going to disappear you might not see it in my december classroom tour here is our calendar board for the month so we are learning about color brown counting to five um, our shape is square and then I always put our weather posters, what the weather was today is that's where I highlight. So today was raining. So this morning we sang our rainy song and put up our, our rainy poster. And then on our toy shelf, you're gonna see a lot of music toys because our theme is let's make some noise. Um, I am always on the lookout for like November turkey themed toys just because this month is kind of hard um, to find themed toys. And in my classroom, I do like to have a smaller number of toys out that are just more themed to our particular unit that we're working on. And so one thing that I did find new this year was this little bag and I got it on Amazon and I will link it. And it just looks like a little grocery felt bag and in it is four different um, like Thanksgiving themed stuffed animals. Um, and the kids really, really like this. Actually, oh, here's our turkey. I'll put him up there. Um, but the kids really, really like this toy. And what I like about it is uh, you can throw the whole thing into your washing machine. So at the end of the week, I can wash that, especially because uh, I have some little ones that still mouth and so this stuff is in their mouth. So that has been a really fun toy um, that I've added to the collection. Uh, and then here's our little turkey that I pull out of our animal bin that the kids like to play with this month as well. And then I just have like this little fall tree that we play with in the month of November. And then the rest of the stuff is uh, music related. So all of our books and I pulled out all of our music toys you can see. But if you guys have any other November turkey uh, Thanksgiving themed toys for infants and toddlers, let me know because I am always on the lookout for those. Instrument toys are easy to find. And then in here, 
I don't have any toys in here other than in underneath here is just a couple like play dishes that the kids like to um, play that they're cooking something. I have a kind of a, an idea for December. I might make this into either like a little like toy place or gingerbread house or something like that. I've been kind of playing with some ideas, looking on Pinterest, getting some ideas, but I think that might be kind of fun. So we will see uh, what I end up doing with that, but it would be, it might be a lot of fun to play around with something new in for this little house area. Um, my white table, actually this month, we've just been pushing underneath this, uh, underneath my toddler tables because I have, my group right now is getting closer to the age of two. So the my in-home daycare, I do ages six weeks to 24 months. And so I have an older group right now that is all going to be aging out for the most part next semester. Um, so we are pushing that table under there because we are needing a little more floor space because they are all on the go and active uh, almost two year olds. So they are a super fun group right now, but um, it does work a little bit better to push the table under there and then just have a little more floor space. I might do something with it in December or I might just go ahead and put that white table away. So we'll see what I end up doing with that next month as well. Here is my, you know, changing table area. This this rarely changes other than you can see that it has been a, a busy week and so I need to make a Costco run and get some diapers this weekend. I do provide all of my diapers and wipes to my clients. I feel like it's just a lot easier that way for me to just purchase that stuff and have it here than to be constantly telling them when their diapers are getting low. Um, I have done that in the past and it can just get really annoying. I much, much, much prefer to do it this way now. And it's just a, you know, a quick Costco run and getting all the sizes that I need just once a month. And it's just, just, I feel like it just really simplifies that whole, like having to write all the time, you know, they're getting low on diapers or counting the diapers, making sure they're gonna have enough for the week and so on. That is just a tip that I've been doing for many, many years and it works really, really great. Um, I also put the November songs on the wall here, so I kind of have two spots I can be looking at because uh, I don't always have all these songs memorized. Um, and then you can see a couple other projects we've been doing this week. Uh, we were doing working on counting to five, so we were counting with that musical instrument worksheet. And then we are working on the shape square, and so we are placing instruments into each of those squares. And then we have our three tat task boxes up here. These are the boxes that the kids work through uh, daily. And so this week they have this instrument puzzle. I showed this in my last video. They love, love, love this thing. It is so much fun, you guys. They This plays each of the instruments. And it is a great tool to use when you're identifying the instruments and helping them learn uh, like the names of what each of these are and stuff and what sounds they make. So they love this one. They are constantly asking for that puzzle. In box two, we are working on a cutting activity. And so they get a strip here and they're, and they really, my, my ones that are getting closer to two can kind of cut on the lines. The other ones are just making snips in the paper. And the two types of scissors that I use with this age group are loop scissors and spring scissors. And so I would start with the loop scissors. These are really, really easy to make little snips on the paper and you can hold the paper, hold the scissors with them. And then when they have kind of mastered the loop scissors, you can move them into spring scissors. Um, so these are two really great scissors for this age group, you know, 15 months to 24 months. And then in our third box, uh, we are doing a matching game. And so they're just matching the instruments. And then up on the ceiling, I just have uh, scarecrows and leaves and pumpkins. Uh, it really didn't change much from last month, except for I just took down some of the Halloween decorations that I had hung from the ceiling. Um, so they, my kids really liked it when I changed stuff on the ceiling, then they really notice it. And I think it's just because of the age group that they are. Um, but I always get all these little felt uh, 
like decorations to hang from my ceilings at the Dollar Tree. All right guys, that is my November classroom. I hope you enjoyed this short video today. We will actually be finishing up our music unit at the end of this week. It is actually only a three week unit because we always do celebrate Thanksgiving um, in November. So next week we will be celebrating Thanksgiving. Um, I will actually only be open Monday and Tuesday because we are going to be doing some traveling um, through Thanksgiving to go see my sister. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, she recently moved and it has been really hard to be away from her. So I am excited to go see her and my nieces and just spend time with them. And so I am actually have a really short week next week. And then after that, I'll be excited to show you guys what I have planned for December. December is one of my most favorite months to teach. It's just so many fun things to do, especially with that zero to 24 month age. So be on the lookout for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.